Hello and welcome to Crooked House Gaming. Here at Crooked House Gaming, we like to explore the gameplay of simulation games, usually through a series of Let's Plays. In this episode, we will explore the gameplay of Democracy 4. Democracy 4 is a political sim that lets you choose the role of a world leader and govern a country. If this sounds like something you'd be interested in, be sure to hit that like button. And if you're new here, welcome. And be sure to hit that subscribe button so you won't miss any future episodes. In this episode, we will continue to explore the gameplay as Resident of South Korea when I hit that button we will be entering the first term of our fifth year as president of South Korea let's see how we did delivery drones there is an urgent policy question that requires your immediate attention an international retailer wants to introduce delivery of shipments by autonomous cargo quadrocopters the general public is excited by this prospect but trade unionists are highly critical predicting job losses and accidents the retailer requested permission to start a pilot project and current legislation Legislature does not cover commercial drones. Allow delivery drones. The pilot program will not offer drone delivery to customers just from one depot to the next. The technology is safe enough to allow that. Disallow delivery drones with police drones and military drones. The public airspace is getting crowded. Private drones would unnecessarily increase at the risk of drone related accidents. Allow limited trials. Let's not run into this. Maybe it's best just to allow some limited trials for a year or two to see what happens. We're gonna allow limited trials. The trade unionists are unhappy at negative 3%. The capitalists are happy at plus 2%. Traffic congestion is at negative 3%. Budget report. There's a budget deficit of 41.71 trillion won. We need to reduce spending or raise taxes. Polls report. The government is not popular amongst its citizens. Only 6% of them intend to vote for you in the next election. Cabinet report. The loyalty of your ministers can best be described as supportive. Their effectiveness is generally considered to be adequate Economic forecast, the global economy is doing okay. We are neither in a boom nor bust cycle. Security briefing, the experts in the intelligence services have expressed concern about the Avengers of Mother Earth, an extremist environmentalist organization that may represent a serious threat to government institutions. Avengers of Mother Earth threat assessment is a free. Our security effectiveness is effective. We have 10 political capital to spend and we have an irate minister. The economy minister is unhappy. He is with the conservatives and the capitalists. We are going to fire him. We are going to hire CEO Jung Ho for economy. The public service minister is unhappy. We are going to fire her. We are going to hire Bei Eng Young for public service. And we have a transport minister who is unhappy. We are going to fire her as well. We are going to hire Ming Sung Min. We have 10 political capital to spend. GDP, the gross domestic product of your country. This is defined as the total market value of of all goods and services produced within a nation in a year. This is a good general purpose measure of the strength of your economy, the nation's overall wealth. One of the contributing factors is the global economic cycle, which tends to be cyclical and is beyond your control. We have a skill shortage. Businesses tell us that they simply cannot find enough skilled and trained people to employ. The modern economy is increasingly skill-based and our citizens just aren't educated enough to take their place in the modern workforce. This is going to have a negative effect on the economy. Education, a measure of the education level of the average citizen, not only literacy but numeracy and general understanding of everything from history to IT and science. State schools. Free education for all ensures high level of literacy and can be beneficial to the economy especially those parts of the economy requiring a skilled workforce. The flip side of this is that state education can be expensive for the government. Capitalists see state education as an unnecessary intervention in the free market. This is 66% popular with the vote. Presently we have a modern textbook. We are going to invest six political capital to increase the amount of modern textbooks in our school, we will apply the changes. We have four political capital to spend. Capital controls, the restriction on the flow of capital out of the country. This is a fairly extreme measure to prevent wealth flowing out of the country. Citizens are prevented from taking more than some fixed amount of currency out of the country in order to prevent a capital flight where the wealthy leave and take their wealth with them. This is very unpopular with the wealthy and the capitalists who see this as a restriction on their freedom of movement and their property rights. This is 19% popular with the vote. We are going to spend three political capital to lower this to minimum. We are going to apply the changes. We have one political capital to spend. Diverted profits tax. A tax levied on estimates regarding large companies' profits earned in this country regardless of actual reporting. This is used to prevent multinational companies from claiming that all of the profits they earn are somehow only generated in a tax haven with little or no corporate taxes by 
using cunning accounting trickery, the tax is mostly designed as an incentive to push such companies to play by the spirit as well as the letter of the law. This is 20% popular with the vote. We are going to invest our last political capital to increase this to high. We will apply the changes. We have zero political capital to spend and thus we are at the end of our first term of our fifth year as president of South Korea. Let's hit that button. We will now be entering our second term of our fifth year as president of South Korea. Let's see how we did. Education is down. Appoint UN ambassador. There's an urgent policy question that requires your immediate attention. Our ambassador to the UN retires this year and we need to name a successor as soon as possible. Much will be made whether we appoint a hardliner who sticks for the country or someone more able to compromise. Appoint Tonya Robinson. Tonya Robinson is well known as a patriot who will fight tooth and claw to get our interests represented at the UN. Seen as a popular choice among a patriotic and more conservative citizen. She is historically against foreign aid and a supporter of import tariffs. She is not popular internationally. Support Dennis Gonzalez. Dennis Gonzalez is a popular figure on the international stage with a reputation for solving difficult problems through compromise and understanding. A true internationalist, he is popular with the liberals and the socialists in our country as well as foreign leaders. We are going to appoint Dennis Gonzalez. The socialists are happy at plus 4%. The liberals are happy at plus 5%. At the patriots are unhappy at negative 10%. Our foreign relations increases at plus 10%. Campaign speeches are available. The election draws near and you may want to take some time out from government to hold a campaign rally and deliver a speech. Budget report. The government is currently running a budget deficit of 44.60 trillion won. We need to take steps to reduce this. Polls report. Polls do not look good. Our last poll put us at 1% of the vote in an election. Cabinet report. The loyalty of your ministers can best be described as supportive. Their effectiveness is generally considered to be Possible. Economic forecast, the global economy is in a recession and this is having a negative effect on our GDP. We have 10 political capital to spend. We're going to give a speech to the farmers as it is a free speech. We are going to give a speech to the capitalists. Their membership is 80%. Let's give that speech. The capitalist views of us increases at plus 15%. The socialist views of us goes down at negative 10%. The farmers views of us goes up at plus 15%. We have one political capital to spend. Needle exchange program, drug addiction is is bad enough already and dirty or infected needles are an additional danger for drug addicts to help out the needle exchange program will help the addicts get clean needles for their need while also offering them help in getting clean and living a normal life again conservatives may think of this as enabling but liberals see it as a good way to fight a drug abuse in the long run this is 35 percent popular with the vote we are going to spend our last political capital to reduce this all the way to the bottom of minimum we will apply the changes we have zero political capital to spend and thus we're at the end of our second term of of our fifth year as president of South Korea. Let's hit that button. We will now be entering our third term of our fifth year as president of South Korea. Let's see how we did. The GDP is up. Disease eradicated. A sustained campaign of vaccinations, education, and monitoring has led to a chronic debilitating disease being eradicated in our country. We must ensure that we defend this status so that our people can go on living free of this destructive illness. Everyone is happy at plus 10%. Campaign speeches are available. Election draws near and you may want to take some time out from government to hold a campaign rally and deliver a speech. Situation in a minute. Our data is showing that we have a potentially bad situation. Media monopoly on our hands if we do not act soon. Budget report. There's a budget deficit of 48.82 trillion won. We need to reduce spending or raise taxes. Polls report. Your approval rate is disappointing. If we believe the polls, you would get just 1% of the vote. Election report. The election is drawing near and we currently have 445,860 64 members in the modern family party. The opposition party has more members than us. The absolute unity party has 780,263 members. The radical loyalists have 222,932 members. Cabinet report. The loyalty of your ministers can best be described as supportive. Their effectiveness is generally considered to be possible. We have 10 political capital to spend. We're going to give a speech to the capitalists again. We're going to give a speech to the motorists and we will give a speech to to the state employees. The capitalist views of us has increased at plus 15%. The socialist views of us go down at negative 5%. The state employees views of us go up at plus 15%. The self-employed views of us go down at negative 5%. And the motorist views of us go up at plus 15%. We have one political capital to spend. Arts subsidy. Investing public money in the arts is controversial with capitalists who see it as supporting uneconomic elitist entertainment, but others see it as vital to a country's culture. Boosting our image on the world stage.
stage and attracting tourists. We will spend our last political capital to increase this. We will apply the changes. We have zero political capital to spend. And thus we are at the end of our third term of our fifth year as president of South Korea. Let's hit that button. We will now be entering our fourth term of our fifth year as president of South Korea. Let's see how we did. The GDP is up. Positive discrimination. There is an urgent policy question that requires your immediate attention. There is a call for a law to expressly set quotas for employment of ethnic and other minorities by large corporations and government institutions. This would put pressure on companies to give higher priority to some job candidates than others on the basis of their race, sex, or age. Pass the law. We need this law. In economic terms, it makes no sense for people below or above a certain age to be rendered unemployable. Also in human rights terms, this is much needed compensation for years of discrimination in the workplace against ethnic minorities, women, the elderly, and the disabled. Reject the law. This is a deeply flawed law. It makes no sense to fight discrimination by using discrimination. It creates two problems. That of the minority members who feel they may not have achieved the position on merit and the resentment of the potential employees who are denied the job. We're gonna reject the law. The liberals are unhappy at negative 10%. The conservatives are happy at plus 12%. The ethnic minorities are unhappy at negative 17%. And liberalism is down at negative 5%. Manifesto promises are available. The election is upon us and we might want to take the opportunity to improve our support by making manifesto promises to the electorate. Campaign speech is available. The election draws near and you may want to take some time off from government to hold a campaign rally and deliver a speech. Budget report. There's a budget deficit of 47.80 trillion won. We need to reduce spending or raise taxes. Polls report. Polls do not look good. Our last poll put us at 3% of the vote in an election. Election report. The election is drawing near. We currently have 168,918 members in the modern family party. The opposition party has roughly the same number of members. Cabinet report. The loyalty of your ministers can best be described as supportive. Their effectiveness is generally considered to be passable. Economic forecast. The global economy is doing okay. We are neither in a boom nor bust cycle. Security briefing. The Environmental Alliance has been staging protests at the homes of government officials. The Environmental Alliance threat assessment is a 13. Our security effectiveness is effective. We have 10 political capital to spend. Let's give a speech. We'll give a speech to the patriots. We will give a speech to the self-employed. And we'll give a speech for the poor. The self-employed views of us goes up 15%. The trade unionist views of us go down at negative 5%. The poor's views of us go up at plus 15%. The wealthy's views of us goes down at negative 5%. The patriots views of us goes up at plus 10%. We have one political capital capital to spend. Free parenting class. Having a newborn child can be very taxing and exhausting for new parents. By introducing these free classes, parents can learn how to deal with the situation, how to raise their babies and have a normal life at the same time. It won't make the babies cry less, but it will make the parents more stress resistant and aware. Plus, they will meet other parents in the same situation. This is 100% popular with the vote. We will spend our last political capital to increase our free parenting classes too high. We will apply the changes. We have zero political political capital to spend and thus we're at the end of the fourth term of our fifth year as president of South Korea. Let's hit that button. We will now be going into the election to see who will be the next president of South Korea. Let's see how we did. Let us start the count. We were voted out of office as the president of South Korea. The Modern Family Party got 4% of the votes. The Absolute Unity Party got 18.8% of the votes. The Radical Loyalists got 43.8% of the vote. And 33.5% of the citizens in South Korea did not vote in the election. We will be retiring to obscurity. And we will be ending this episode. Thank you so much for stopping by our Crooked House. If you like what you saw, be sure to give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you want to follow our future episodes it really helps us out have a great week see you soon